Hey guys, Sermus98 here, and um, I'm gonna teach you how to install a mod for the source engine called No More Room in Hell. Now, what you're gonna have to do is, um, before we start this video, um, I just wanna put a note here. You will need to have one of these games that I'm going to show you. You will either need Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 1, Counter Strike Source. Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 or 2, Portal, uh, Day of Defeat Source, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, The Orange Box, um, Counter-Strike Complete, Portal Bundle, Half-Life Complete, uh, Counter-Strike Source plus Gary's Mod, Valve Complete Pack, or Soul S Source Multiplayer Pack. Now, as far as I know, this is how it works. You will need one of these games. But then, um, so if you don't have one of this, these games... Um, just a warning, this might be a waste of your time, but I'm not sure, because I've had Left 4 Dead since I got Steam, this was actually my first game, so I don't know, um, I, I would just advise to have one of them, I mean, if you need a game, if you don't have one of these, then why not pick up a game like, uh, Portal, you know, that was a really good game, you know, Counter-Strike, Source, good game, Counter-Strike Complete Pack, awesome it contains all the counter strikes i have that <laughs> um but yeah it's a little bit of a uh, promotion but not really <laughs> so um next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your steam library and you're going to want to hit right here where it says all games hit this little arrow right here now you're going to have to go down to tools and if you don't already have these installed you're going to want to scroll down to where it says source sdk source sdk base 2006 and base 2007 you're going to want to install all three of these um so that's about it for steam right now you can just minimize this um so then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a um internet browser sorry about that you're going to want to open up your internet browser you're going to want to go to no more room in hell .com. click download right here right here right here for y'all for all of y'all to see it you're going to want to hit download now underneath of beta 1.0.6 client full um this should work for all future updates um so you're going to, you're going to want to click here and this will bring you to moddb.com once this loads um, you're going to want to hit this red button that says download now click it uh, an ad will open up and right here it says click to begin downloading you click right here and it'll bring you to this download page um, we can actually, we're actually going to close this page um, you, and then once you're here you're going to want to hit this yellow button don't click any of the other like ads or anything that's what I hate most about websites like this is the ads. So it'll do a countdown five, four, three, two, one, and then this will open up depending on what browser you have. Um, you're gonna want to hit save, but I already have it installed or downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, come back to this video and I'll show you what to do from there. Um, now you're gonna want to go back to your desktop, and um, depending on where what browser you have is where this file will download. Mine went to my desktop. So what you're going to want to do is, is like bring this to an easily accessible place. You're going to want to open this up and just just minimize it for now. That's all. That's all you need to do. And then um, you're going to want to open up a folder. Whoops, just any folder doesn't matter. And you're going to want to go to where you have Steam installed. Um, that for most people it will be your C drive, program files x86. You scroll down and there should be a folder right here that says Steam. Um, that's not where mine is installed to. I go to my E drive and Steam is right here. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the folder that says Steam, and then you're going to want to go to Steam Apps and go to Source Mods. This should be underneath of whatever profile, like whatever your profile name is, it should be right underneath there. It says Source Mods. So now what you're going to want to do is open that folder up, then go back to your WinRAR file, and then there should be a folder in here that says N M R I H. Now you're going to want to drag this folder into this folder, into your source mods folder. I've already done that, so I don't have to do this. And um, basically, that's about it 
almost, almost. There's one more thing you have to do. Um, so that it shows up in your library, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go up to this, up to the top left corner of Steam, and hit exit, which means you're gonna log out of Steam. If you don't do this, it will not show up in your library. Um, because I know people were having problems with this um, on my last video, and that's why I remade the video. I think it might be because I didn't mention that you have to do that. So then you're going to want to open back, open Steam back up. It should say connecting Steam account. And then once it's open back up, once it's open back up, you should then go to your library and you should see no more room in hell. Um, as I said, this is a free game. So, um, it's a zombie survival-ish game, I believe. If it's not zombie survival, because I haven't played this, I played it once yesterday. And if it's not zombie survival, then this game is zombie objective. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's, like, um, objective-based. Like, you have to do a whole bunch of, like, objectives to do. And then you just kill zombies in the process, I, I assume. And then I think that's about it for this game. I mean, I'm not going to play it because I'm recording with Camtasia. And that's about it for now. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.